and welcome to NFL News Update, where touchdowns meet headlines. Stay in the game with the freshest NFL updates. This is your quick dive into football fervor. Cardinals general manager Monty Ossenfort going to be listening to offers for no four pick. Flashing lights aren't a preference of Arizona Cardinals general manager Monty Ossenfort, but he's fine and dandy with having a sign that reads, open for business. Austin Ford expects 2024 NFL draft trade talks to ramp up at next week's annual league meeting and is willing and open to listen to any and all offers, including for the Cardinals' no four overall pick. There will be a big neon sign that says open and I don't like it blinking, it messes with my eyes, but we're always going to be listening, Austin Ford joked Wednesday at a news conference alongside head coach Jonathan Gannon. I think we'll always have the conversation, we may not get to a point where a deal makes sense, whether it's at no, four, or anywhere we're picking, but we're always going to have the conversation and if it makes sense, if it's attractive to building our team, then it's something that we'll certainly consider no matter where we're at in the draft. Austin Fort and co. are heading to Orlando, Florida, for the league meeting next week, where rules proposals will be voted on, bread will be broken and potential moving and shaking in the draft, which takes place April 25-27 in Detroit, will be discussed. I'd say those phone calls are starting to pick up a little bit, I would say they'll probably continue into next week when we get down to Florida for the owners' meetings," said Austin Ford, who orchestrated five draft-related trades last year. I think most teams are in a similar spot to us, and starting to finalize their boards, and the pro day pieces are kind of the final on-field piece for evaluation purposes. So I would imagine some of those conversations will continue to pick up, but honestly, they probably will not get real serious until we get right up until the week of the draft similar to last year. They have definitely picked up, but I expect that to continue here for the next month. Sitting at no, four overall in a quarterback and wide receiver rich draft, the Cardinals are sure to garner interest and Austin Fort will have an open ear. They could obviously stay put as well. With Kyler Murray tabbed as the team's franchise quarterback, Arizona's been linked as a candidate to take a wide receiver in many a mock draft, with many prognosticating Marvin Harrison, Junior, the Ohio State product didn't take part in the NFL scouting combine nor Wednesday's Bucky's Pro Day. Austin Fort appreciated Harrison's decision, even if he is a believer in the more information, the better. I think with all the spring prep and the draft prep, I think that's really a personal decision that players have to make, Austin Fort said. You know, hey, I'm a big fan of the more good information that we can have in the draft process the better, but it's not going to be the first time that a player doesn't check off every box for the spring process it won't be the last time. So, in Marvin's case, it's his decision, what he thought was best for him. And so we respect that, and we'll continue our evaluation process not only on him, but every draft prospect, and we'll evaluate the best we can with the information that we have. Heading into their second seasons with the Cardinals, Austin Fort and Gannon have plenty of roster holes to fill and decisions to make for a club that went 4-13 in 2023. A no, one wide receiver is likely tops among their needs, but interior offensive line help, additions along the defensive line as a whole, and cornerbacks are also needs that could be flashing in neon. Thusly, Austin Fort will be open to listening as the calls and texts ramp up now that the new league year has sprung.